When once you have seen Jesus, you can never be the same. Our Daily Bread. Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. From time to time, we read of people who are offended at not being treated with what they consider due respect and deference. Do you know who I am? They shout indignantly. And we're reminded of the statement, if you have to tell people who you are, you probably really aren't who you think you are. Now, the polar opposite of this arrogance and self-importance is seen in Jesus, even as his life on earth was nearing its end. We know that Jesus entered Jerusalem to shouts of praise from the people. When others throughout the city asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. He didn't come claiming special privileges, but in humility he came to give his life in obedience to his Father's will. The words that Jesus said and the things that he did commanded respect. Unlike insecure rulers, he never demanded that others respect him. His greatest hours of suffering appeared to be his lowest point of weakness and failure. Yet the strength of his identity and mission carried Jesus through the darkest hours as he died for our sins so that we might live in his love. He is worthy of our lives and devotion today. But the question is, do we recognize who he is? Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest heaven! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowd answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. That's today's scripture reading from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. And as we close our time together, let's pray. Lord, we are in awe of your humility, strength, and love. And we are embarrassed by our desires for self-importance. May knowing you change every self-centered motive in our hearts into a longing to live as you did in this world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Share Our Daily Bread with your friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. You never know who needs a touch today. Today's encouragement was brought to you from Our Daily Bread Ministries.